Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. And as you can see, this is a proper vlog. <laughs> this is not a mobile phone. This is GoPro and dash cam edited on computer. Original Luke vlog, if you like. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty snowy out. It absolutely uh, hailed down with snow. It hailed down with snow? Is that a proper way of saying it? I don't know how to word it, lashed down with snow uh, over the weekend um, in the Swindon area and um, yeah it was really bad, um, all the roads were undrivable, so many roads around Swindon were closed and um, yeah I was actually, um, well, I went to work yesterday just to get some gloves out of the truck so I could build a snowman and also take a photograph but um, the photo didn't turn out very good, so I didn't use it in the end. Yeah, I, I tried driving into work, and normally it only takes me between five and 10 minutes to get into work. It took me pretty much an hour to get into work because the first road I tried, oh, hang on, you seem to have fallen down. Let me just pull over a second and sort you out. What it is, is uh, the GoPro, fell off just now and I put, put you back up but obviously you didn't stay up. I need to get a, a wet wipe and get the screen wet now can you see me hopefully you stay off we go again yeah so um, it normally only takes me 10 minutes to get to work but it took me an hour because the first road I took was closed and the second road I, I went to take there were cars getting stuck on hills and there were also trees all over the roads as well. Um, so you'd be swerving from the left-hand side of the road, then you have to swerve over to the right-hand side of the road, then swerve back over to the left again. It's a royal pain in the bottom. Um, anyway, I managed to get to work finally, but yeah, it took, it took absolutely ages to get to work. Anyway, what are we doing today? We are not heading down to Southampton, that's for sure. Um, the Southampton work has died out now that it's nearly Christmas I expect I'll probably be back on it again in the new year but at the moment it's died out so my boss has got me something else to do I am on my way to um, B&Q in Swindon the RCC I think that's what it's called RCC and we're going to pick up a trailer we've got to go to Cornwall absolutely miles away <laughs> so uh, not only is this the first time I've driven in the snow in an Arctic but also the longest distance I've driven in an Arctic as well it's so long, so far away, that I might not even be able to get there before I need to have a break. I bear in mind you're allowed to drive for four and a half hours. By the time I mess around getting my trailer and leave, I might only have three hours, three and a half hours left. And it takes about four and a half hours to get there, I think. It obviously depends on traffic. Might be able to beat the sat-nav. Um, but also depends on weather conditions as well. I don't know what the weather's like down there, so... It's all motorways and A roads to both stores. I've got to go to two different stores. I've got to go to oh, I can't get I can't remember now what they are. Is it Pen Penvin? Pen something like that. And then St. Austell on the way back up. So yeah, anyway, you're coming with me. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. So the snow has turned into well the snow hasn't turned into fog, but it's now foggy as well. Snowy and foggy and icy. <laughs> I'm hoping I don't crash. Just turn the fog lights on because it's foggy. And I always believe in the saying it's better to be seen, not if you can see. So I've got a few lights on now, so hopefully people can see me coming from a distance and they pull out in front of me. Anyway, we're nearly there now at BQ headquarters. It's only around the corner from where we're based. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much I can film in there because I've never filmed in there before. So I'm, I might do a little bit, but um, we'll see. So see you guys in a sec. Gotta find uh, bay 148, 146, 147, 148. That's the trailer we're taking then. This blue trailer. And just need to check now that everything's okay. So I'm just gonna check I've got to strap it all up by the looks of it. Check all the uh, tyres and that. 
then hook up, and then we can crack on. Right, it is half past four. We've been here since three o'clock this morning. Just uh, sorting everything out, getting the trailer on, hitching it up. Um, I had to, to uh, close the curtains and uh, do the curtains up and put the wire through it all. Oh, that wire is fiddly as hell. Oh my God, that is so fiddly, that wire. Um, what else did I have to do? I had to go on the way bridge. Uh, the way bridge didn't print out a ticket, so I had to go around again. Still didn't print out a ticket. It's just a lot of, a lot of messing around, and the paperwork that I got is unbelievable. So much paperwork. <laughs> anyway, we're on our way to uh, Penryn, which is down in Cornwall. Um, it's 221 miles away, four hours and 25 minutes driving to get there. So it's a long drive. Where's my glasses? There they are. It's a long, long drive to get there before we get on the main road. Yeah, I've got time. Um, so yeah, probably gonna listen to a podcast on the way there. It'd definitely be light by the time we get there, 100%. We, our current ETA is nine o'clock. However, I will need to get a break in before I get there because it takes four hours and 25 minutes to get there, apparently, according to my sat-nav. But I've already done half an hour's worth of driving, so I will need to get a break in before I get there, which is very annoying. Um, so yeah, I'll have to get a break in. So that put me at quarter to 10. Yeah, quarter to 10 be there for. And the, I'm scheduled there for quarter past 10, so it's actually works, working out all right, even with the break. So. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna crack on, and uh, I will see you. See you. Blah, 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 see you in a few moments. Don't know where I'll be, but uh, see you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. You joined me pretty much nearly four hours after I last spoke to you. Um, well, just under four hours. We left about half past. No, it was about twenty past um, four. We left the Yard. Twenty past four, and it's. Uh, nearly 10 past 8 now so nearly four hours ago um, so yeah we've been driving non-stop for four hours um, of course you can only do four and a half hours of driving before you need to have a break and I did uh, about 20 minutes or so worth of driving to get to the B&Q yard from our yard so I've actually only got 10 minutes or so drive time left and I hear what you're saying, Luke, why are you leaving it so late to have a break? Well, there's services half a mile up the road. <laughs> In fact, there's the sign there. So I've done my research. I've never been down here before, but I've done my research. I know there's a service station here now, and I know I knew that there was a good chance I could reach it. If I couldn't reach it, there's loads of um, laybys on the way here. So we're going to pull into here. I've never been here before, so I don't know where HGVs park or how many spaces they have. All I know is that they are services and I need to park up. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we uh, just keep driving and find the next lay-by. But we've got just over 10 minutes worth of drive time left, so we should be fine. So there's McDonald's there. Okay, first exit, no entry. Second exit, services. And I see some trucks parked up over there. Services left. So we're gonna go left down here. And we're gonna find the the very first parking bay we can get into. Parking two hours free, that's good. I only need 45 minutes. Trucks go left. Have I got to do a dodgy reverse? Yeah, it looks like I've got to reverse into a bay. Never mind. Let's put my hazards on just to warn people. I'm going to park right in the corner. Let's 
let's get a bit more of an angle. And then back we go. Normally I um, have a flatbed obviously, so it's a little bit different driving with a double decker curtain sided trailer. And the difference is you see less. I mean, obviously you've still got your mirrors, but ultimately you see left, less rather. I think that'll do, let's park up, engine off. It really annoys me when the wipers are halfway up. Lights off on break. Right, so we're having a break. Um, hazards off. The good news is um, we're only 51 minutes away now from where we need to be. So it's not too bad. ETA there is, if we carried on driving, ETA there is 8.57, so say nine o'clock. And I haven't got to be there until quarter past 10, so Basically, we've got about 20 minutes, half an hour's worth of spare time. And what I'm going to do is I am going to have a little bit of a snooze on the bed, but I just want to uh, double check something. So I need the pen ring. We're going to pen ring first. Put that at the front. I've only ever done this once before, so I'm not entirely sure what I've got to do. I need that paperwork. Does the store have that paperwork? Please load all the number of papers now. Don't think so, that's fine. And pen win, foul mouth. Right, yeah, so I'm gonna have a, a snooze. A 45 minute snooze. And then uh, we'll be ready to go and drive the rest of the way. So I will see you in about 45 minutes. Right, so we've just uh, had our 45. We're just leaving now. And um, I just popped outside to uh, check the vehicle over, as you normally do, make sure everything's all okay with it. And uh, it is an, it's an half windy out there. So I've got to be careful. It's very, very windy. Now, what lane do I need? sure what lane I need. I'm going straight over. There we go. Right, back onto the A30. So yeah, it was pretty much dark when we uh, parked up. Now it's uh, as light as it's going to be, I think. Never mind. So the clock has been reset. We're on two minutes of driving time now, as opposed to over, well over four hours it was earlier. 27 miles away, we've got to be there, well, we're 48 minutes away, so we're going to be there about 10 to 10, according to the sat nav. And the paperwork says quarter past 10, so yeah, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So we're 25 minutes ahead of schedule, which is really good. So we're going to crack on now, and I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, right, there's being q Look on the left. And I do believe we need to go straight over this roundabout. He's going slow, but he's not indicating. Straight over this roundabout, and then we need to take the left here, deliveries. Right, so we did make it in the end, that's good. And then we're just going to park up here a second on the left. Hazards on. Let them know I'm here. Oh, there's a lorry in there as well, look, I can see. So that's fantastic. Looks like we're not going to be getting tipped ASAP, which is a bit annoying. And let's go back a bit. Use up what room we have.
I do. Right, so I need to tell him that I'm here. Might as well get a 15 in while I'm waiting as well. I'll say he's having 45 later. And uh, yeah, let's uh, hopefully get it sorted. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Cheers, bud. Right, we're going in now. What I need to do is I need to make the turn as wide as possible. I was, I'm going to hit that post. That's what I'm gonna to plan to do. And then when we're in, I need to plan a route for the next place. Well, right in there, yeah. then when I close the gates, can you reverse back to the gate? Yeah, we'll do bad. Right, so we're here now, so uh, I'm going to get tipping and uh, see you guys in a bit. Right, so we're just leaving there now. Unfortunately, we were there for quite a while. So, <laughs> any chance of getting home early is well out the window. Um, I was supposed to be at my second job, I think, for quarter past 12. I'm going to be there quarter to one. So I'm going to be half an hour late to my second job, even though I was half an hour early at the first job. So that takes the mick. They took too long to tip me there. And now it's gonna punish me for the rest of the day. So the joys of trucking. Never mind. Onwards and upwards. So we're gonna make our way now to St. Austell. And uh, I see you there. Right, so we're not far away. We're about 15 minutes away or so. Oh, there's a siren over there. Should have enough time to get past. Right, oh, yeah, so we're about 15 minutes away. Um, I may have messed up. <laughs> the Put it this way, so I was supposed to be there for quarter past 12, but when I put in the sat-nav where I'm going and I followed the route that I'm supposed to take, it says I was going to get there for like quarter to one or something like that which means I'm going to be behind schedule massively and I wasn't very happy about it because then I'm going to be home late and just things like that. I'm going to get caught up in rush hour traffic and all sorts. But the thing is, it, what annoys me is that it isn't and wasn't the most direct route. It was, it was right round and then back down again. So the only thing I could think of was that that was the route you're supposed to take to get there if you're coming from Swindon. So I've actually gone a different route and I'm hoping I don't get in trouble for this. The route it wanted you to do was come off at the A30 and then take the A3, uh, A391, I think it was. But I'm actually taking the A390. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, we don't get in trouble. So the sat-nav is telling me to turn off left here because it the, the thinks there's a weight limit straight on. I don't think there's a weight limit. It's an A road. There can't be a weight limit on an A road. I haven't seen any signs whatsoever. So I'm going to continue straight on and hope that I'm right. I mean, there's a vehicle there, a lorry there. Hopefully the sat-nav is going to correct itself. Yep, I think it has. So that road there is a weight limit, and uh, on the sat-nav it sort of comes out. But anyway, we're waiting to see. So we're nearly there. Well, uh, I'll see you when I get there. Yeah, so my gamble paid off, it's totally fine. The sat-nav was playing up, it thought there was a weight limit on the road, and it thought it was a one-way street, but it's not, it's perfectly fine. It's all A road, so it's all good. And uh, we're literally half a mile away now. But doing this has saved me 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. <clears throat> so, I'm glad I've done it. 
and if I get in trouble for it then so be it but there's been no weight limits it's been totally fine roads have been perfectly acceptable for a double decker arctic right so <laughs> I've been briefed that this site is a bit of a nightmare there's a proper tight entrance to get in and you, you would think that's not where you've got to go in the goods in area you've got to go over like a, a single carriageway uh, bridge and it looks narrow as hell apparently so um, yeah so this is going to be fun just got to go around these roundabouts it's quite a sharp right as well so I will need to concentrate it's weird how it's like really sunny uh, really snowy in Swindon but like proper sunny here Right, we've got to basically do almost a U-turn on this roundabout. I'm hoping no one comes down my inside. It's very, very tight. I need to take a proper tight turn on this. Now there's a car coming. Jesus, it is tight. Doesn't help with that parked car there. Gotta be careful I don't clip the back of the trailer. Right, I think what I need to do is turn right there and reverse in. Just gonna have to park here for a sec. I can't see anything with the blinds not down. Right, I'm gonna find out what's happening. No, I can't see you now. Right, so we're now leaving the second job. It is quarter to two right now, and uh, got four hours drive back. Now the problem is my taco went in at half past two this morning, and <laughs> I've messed up basically. Um, I, I was supposed to get this trailer back to be loaded for the morning. I can't work past half past five. Uh, after half past five, I've done 15 hours and the current ETA is 20 to six. So, um, yeah, I'm 10 minutes out from getting to the B&Q yard and then I've got half, well, about 20 minute drive back to the yard as well. So I need to make up some serious time and hope I don't get caught up in any traffic, but that's not gonna be the case because I gotta go past the M4 Bristol. It's always busy around five o'clock, if not before, so. I suspect I will get held up in traffic and I'm probably going to have to stay out overnight at like Lee Dillamay or something and then go to B&Q in the first thing in the morning which is then going to, yeah. It's a, it's a bit of a ball ache, I've messed up. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think I've messed up. I've done everything as fast as I can do, I know that. I haven't hung about anywhere. I've done everything as fast as I can but it's not fast enough and it's caught me out. It, I took far too long this morning leaving B&Q Yard. I got there at three o'clock and I should have left before half past three. And, but I didn't leave until 20 past four. So, um, yeah. Had I left a bit earlier, it would have been fine. Is that coming down as well? Yeah. So the only way I'm gonna get home tonight and the only way this trailer is gonna get dropped off tonight I reckon is if someone meets me somewhere but I'm not sure whether that's going to happen no idea never mind bit of a bummer it's one of those days where I'm not happy <laughs> I've messed up well again I don't think I've messed up it's just it is a long journey to get down here four hours plus four and a half hours to get down here four and a half hours to get back got a tip as well it's only so many hours in a day. And there's laws. And unfortunately, you can't drive more than 15 hours or work more than 15 hours driving a HGV. If you could, then I would. Never mind, so 
got 200 miles to do. Let's see how many miles we can get done. See you guys in a bit. Right, so as you could probably see, it's now dark. We've been driving for another three and a half hours since I last spoke to you, where I think I was feeling very down. Um, I sort of realised that I wasn't going to get back in time to the yard, uh, and I thought I'd have to do a night out, and I was really upset because I promised my daughters I'd be back home tonight, and it might sound silly, but I told them I'd be home, and, you know, then I'm not home. So it really upset me that I was going to let them down. And I, I, I was a little bit upset that my boss was upset because obviously I spent too, too long this morning at B&Q waiting to be loaded, well, to get the trailer on and to go. But I've spoken to him and I found out what things I can do to make it quicker. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow because I'm back in B&Q tomorrow morning doing the same thing today except for the fact I'm only doing one delivery, not two. So it's the place I went to, the, the, the first place I went to today, the furthest place away, that's what I've got to do tomorrow. But after that delivery, it's straight home from there. I haven't got to go and do a second one, so that's good. So where does it leave me for today? So I started work today at uh, 2.31 in the morning. My current ETA to B&Q Yard is at 5.25. So I, I got five minutes basically to get the trailer unhooked. <laughs> so I think what's going to happen is I'm going to drive to the B&Q yard uh, and then someone is going to come meet me and take over, take the trailer off and then bring me back home. I think that's the plan. Uh, if that doesn't happen, then I'll be staying out overnight uh, just around the corner from home, which is really annoying, but I'm hoping someone can come and collect me and hoping we can uh, go home tonight and then start again tomorrow morning. Tomorrow we start slightly later, we need to be leaving B&Q for 4 o'clock in the morning. Whereas uh, t today we left about 20 past 3. So it's ever so slightly later. And then like I said, just the one run. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. Sorry I was so down earlier. It was like I said, I just was a little bit annoyed that I thought I wasn't going home. But it looks like I might be now, so it's all good. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.